thank you guys so much for joining me today. I'm here with Mindy Agpoon, and she's going to tell us a little bit about what it's like to be a cook in the restaurant industry. So, Mindy, what got you into the culinary industry in the first place? Um, I think what actually attracted me to it was uh, just the fact that I love to cook. I like to bake at home, and I saw a couple of commercials on TV where it was all the cordon bleu, and I was like, well, maybe this is a sign. <laughs> so I went ahead and signed up. Okay, so in your early days of cooking, what was the most important lesson you had to learn that helped you develop your career? Most important thing I had to learn was how to use a knife. <laughs> Because if you do not know how to use a knife, uh, let someone show you. <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> yes, you can get hurt. Um, yeah, that was it. Okay. And so this is an industry that's completely dominated by men. All the shows you see, all the head chefs tend to be men of the restaurants. Why do you think there's so, there's so few women head chefs? I feel as though women think that they are not good enough uh, to be in a position like that. Um, me, I feel like I do deserve the position and I can <laughs> handle the position. Uh, but yeah, and, and you know, we're at this time in age, it's like, why, why not? Sure. You know, women are doing a lot more things and being in a lot more other positions than they were, you know, before. Um, but in, in this industry, it can be kind of intimidating seeing as though everybody's a man and everybody <laughs> that gets promoted is a man. Um, but I feel I'm responsible enough and I am trained enough and know enough to get a position. So Chef, what does Mindy bring to your restaurant team? Well, one of the reasons I hired Mindy was because uh, she's got a lot of experience in this field. Um, she's been doing it for many years, she's worked for a lot of top companies. Um, and that's important to me, you know, that amount of dedication and, and that amount of experience. And Chef, you've been in the industry for 20 years. What have you noticed about the female chefs and cooks you've come in contact with? Well, to be honest, it is a very male-dominated industry. Um, traditionally, it's been a, a male profession throughout the ages. And I think because of that, uh, the women who are in this field, they have to work a little harder and try a little harder. And I think because of that, um, the women chefs that you come across um, are more dedicated. Chefs and cooks who um, are really into their craft, really into their profession, and um, just a lot of times are just a little bit better because they do try harder. So, do you think that men and women approach food differently from your experience? Um, I feel as though if it's their personality comes out in their food. Um, it's not really a gender thing. It's more of a what types of food you like and what you think will go together well. Um, I think women are more delicate in their preparation, um, but guys can be just as delicate, you know, and women can be just as hard and just as creative as men can be. So for a young person or anyone who's interested in a career in the culinary field, um, what's the first thing they should do when they're interested? Uh, the first thing you should do is get a job in the industry, not at a fast food restaurant, in a serious kitchen um, like Dantana's or McCormick and Schmick's and um, feel it out because you don't want to go to school and waste your money there because you thought it was cool mm -hmm. or hey, my friends are doing it. No, it's, you know, it's about you. and. Just uh, see if you like the atmosphere. Because uh, I have gone to school with a couple of um, friends, and they're no longer in the industry, so they just wasted their money on something that they weren't going to pursue. You know. And so, what are some other goals that you have for yourself in the industry, or maybe in a different area? Um, I do baking on the side. I do have my own uh, little business. It's by word of mouth. Oh, and it's uh, flawless cakes. Um, you can go on uh, Facebook and find Flawless Cakes on there. I have a lot of pictures of cakes that I've done in the past and present. Um, I do cakes for a lot of my co-workers. I enjoy doing it a lot. Um, I hope to open up my own bakery one day. Okay, and last, what is your philosophy when it comes to the culinary experience? If it does not taste good or look good, do not serve it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> if you think you don't want to eat it, then don't serve it to other people. I mean, if it's not something you, were, you would expect to be served to you, you know, don't, don't put it out there. All right, Mindy, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you very much for having me. No problem. And if you want more information about Mindy and Flawless Cakes, there'll be a link on my website.